about um, Mindset Monday. So, all right, I have Instagram there, Facebook here, and we're live. And as I was just telling Instagram, I feel like uh, I, I did a ton of live videos back when I was practicing medicine because I had a lot to say about holistic healthcare and medicine. And then, of course, my practice closed a year ago. Hey, Joe. And if you get if you hop on, say hello, give me an emoji. Um, and then I like went silent for about a year now because I kept thinking like I only have one thing to say. It's always about healthcare and medicine. And if I don't have that to say, no one's gonna listen, right? Which is completely false. And um, from Turkey, great. We have someone from Turkey um, on Instagram. So I thought. You know what? I'm going to challenge myself and attempt to come live every day, um, Monday through Friday. And just even if it's five minutes to pop on, whatever I'm thinking that day, you know, again, if you're not hearing about um, holistic health from me, you're usually hearing about, you know, seeing my workout videos or talking about nutrition. And guys, I am so much more than that. Like a lot of people on Facebook don't know my Instagram side because they don't watch my Instagram stories. And a lot of people on Instagram don't watch my Instagram stories either. And I'm like, there's many layers to me and I'm growing by the leaps and bounds lately. <laughs> and I want to share with you guys. So uh, Mindset Monday, I just came out of a period of feeling stuck and I'm sure everyone else feels stuck, right? It's something like for me, it was stuck as far as doing anything. I was sort of in like um, unmotivated, uninspired to share anything. Uh, on social media. I actually took the longest break away from social media that I've ever taken in like many years. I was off from like Tuesday through Sunday. It felt great. I know people do it all the time, you know, but a lot of times in my business, it's like, oh, you got to stay consistent. You got to post it. You know, it's like, I'm going to do things my way. And at that point, it didn't feel good for me. Yeah. Cassie on Facebook said she's feeling um, stuck right now. And here's the thing. So I'm going to talk to you guys this morning about, because I have to go for Reiki training. I have to leave in about 20 minutes. So I actually have to make this quick. So this will be a quicker one today, but how to get unstuck if you're feeling stuck. Now, this can go as far as like motivation or inspiration to do something with your business or your fitness or your nutrition. You know, I, I work a ton with people in the fitness and nutrition industry, you know, trying to help people get, um, in shape and eat right and we're not perfect right none of us are perfect mine was i kept on with the working out and eating as best as i could but i feel like sometimes when you fall off with your mindset like you don't feel like doing anything you're uninspired you just want to be you sometimes fall off with your nutrition too right so but here's the thing i have um three tips for you guys this morning and the first is stop shooting yourself. And this is something I am working on all the time because I'm a shitter. I should do this. I should do that. And stop shitting all over yourself, right? I didn't curse. Should. Um, do what feels right and good at that point, believing that the time will pass, right? So everyone has seasons of, in their life, right? Um, and I always say all the time when you're feeling stuck, the only, and number two, the only way you can get unstuck is for you to decide, right? People can should you, you know, or you can should yourself. Okay, let's turn that shooting off, all right? Okay, I'm not going to should myself. Um, and uh, I should eat well. I should work out. I should be posting on, on social media, right? I stopped shooting myself. And then I, when I felt like the time was right, I started again, right? And here I am starting big time um, going live. And same with your fitness, your nutrition, anything you decide or had been doing that you fall off of because you're getting that stuck mode, only you can um, decide that you want to restart and get unstuck. No one is going to do it for you and nor can anyone tell you to do it, right? You're going to have to decide yourself. I see this all the time in fitness and nutrition. I should, they should themselves first. I should get in shape and I should start eating well, right? Okay, so then they contact me, we get a plan. They come into my groups. The thing is, I will give you all the accountability and um, support in my fitness groups, right? However, I can't show up for you. That is on you, that's not on me. So, you know, they shoulded themselves into the point where they're in my group and working with me. 
but then the next step is all on them. They're going to have to want to take the next step. And this can even go with, you know, Cassie saying she's feeling stuck. You know, you have to, I'm going to go in right into step three. You have to ride the wave and believe it too will pass. I know a lot of people, I feel like when you do get stuck, especially in, like it was me for, gosh, a lot of mine was hormonally related. Ladies out there, it, it, our hormones do affect how we feel and how strong we are when we work out and how we want to eat because we all know we all get carb cravings, right? And it also affects our motivation and our inspiration. Sometimes you just have to be and ride the wave and let it let it just be how it is for now, right? So I feel like the, the more I personally try to rush through those stuck times, the worse it gets because you sit there every day going, oh my gosh, I sh again, you, you overshoot yourself when you're stuck. And that makes you feel even worse about yourself, right? And then it gets even harder to get out of it because you're digging yourself deeper into your hole of, of the shooting. And so I feel like, you know, the three steps, you stop shooting, you ride the wave and it will pass, hopefully, in due time. Do not let, in, and you have to get out of your rut and your stuckness, that's a word, on your own. You have to be the one to decide. And honestly, I have a, I, I'm telling you, Nine times out of 10, the time comes or you're like, you wake up one day, you know, when it came to my fitness and nutrition, it was May of 2015. I just woke up one day, guys. I woke up and was like, you know what? No one is going to do this for me. I need to do this myself. And every step that I have taken from 2015 to today has been inspired action. It has been something that I want to do. No one told me to do it. I woke up and said, I want to do this next or I... You know, not that I should, that I want to do this. And when you want to do something and you stop shooting yourself, it's a lot easier to stay unstuck. And I have to say, my I had I used to have a lot more stuck situations and episodes in my life. Um, I'm a lot less stuck lately. And a lot of, I am 46 years old, and a lot of times I blame it on my hormones when I feel extra stuck because, you know, again, I gotta ride the wave with my hormones and and do what feels right at that time. And sometimes just embrace the stuckness for a week or two, two, knowing that when I come out, I'm catapulting out like I am today. So guys, do those three things. Believe that it will pass. Do things on your own terms, on your own time. That's the only way you're going to stick to it. And um, don't shoot yourself. Stop that. Like I have to tell you that and you that, Facebook and Instagram, because I need to remember that all day, every day. All right. Hope this helps for your Monday mindset shift. And uh, I gotta go leave for Reiki in 15 minutes and I gotta eat breakfast yet. So um, anyhow, hope you guys, I'm gonna say, let's see. Hey, Katarina, I'm gonna say bye to Instagram first. Bye Instagram, I will see you tomorrow. And, and then I'm gonna say bye to Facebook. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, these hopefully are gonna be daily videos, even if I have five minutes to pop on and say hello and give you a different topic every day of whatever's on my heart that I want to share that day. And it may not be health related. It may be like today, which is more mindset related. Whatever it is, it is. But now I got to go learn some Reiki. So have an amazing day, guys. Happy Monday. And we'll talk to you soon.